Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to reading SCP-131, also known as the iPods. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I've number SCP-131. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. No special or safety procedures are to be taken with SCP-131 on A and SCP-131B, who I will be e e calling in Garth and Jack. They are free to travel about Site-19 in so long as they do not attempt to enter any restricted areas or attempt to leave the facility. Casual contact with these subjects is permitted, but it's recommended that such contact be kept be kept to a minimum to prevent the creatures from forming an attachment or personal an attachment to personnel. Hourly contact it is hourly tabs are to be kept on subjects at all times. Failure to account for their presence and at these times constitutes a level one lockdown situation. Any report of abuse or mistreatment of the subject will result in harsh reprimand. Description SCP 131A and SCP 131B, affectionately nicknamed the iPods, are a pair are of teardrop shaped creatures roughly 30 centimeters or 1 foot in height, with a singular blue eye in the middle of their bodies. Garth is burnt orange, orange in color, while Jack is mustard yellow. At the base of each creature is a wheel-like protrusion which allows for locomotion. Don't ask why I chose these names, I think they fit it for some reason. Suggesting that the creatures may be biomechanical in origin. The subjects can move surprisingly fast, covering over 60 meters or 200 feet in a matter of seconds. The subjects, however, lack a braking system, which has led to some rather spectacular, if not overly amusing, mishaps involving the creatures. The subjects have also shown the ability to climb sheer surfaces and have gotten lost in the air vents on more than one an occasion. <laughs> the subjects seem to have the intelligence of common house cats and are insatiably curious. Most of the time, they simply roll around the facility. <sighs> observing personnel at work and catching peeks at other safe class SCPs. The subjects seem to be able to communicate with, uh, with each other via an untranslatable high-pitched babbling. The subjects have never been an observer to blink, even in laboratories when the subjects have been videotaped for over 18 consecutive hours. I'm going to be honest, there are some dangerous safe class as anomalies in the SCP Foundation. Like, just because they're safe class doesn't mean they're safe to be around, it just means that they're relatively easy to contain. These subjects seem to respond well to any affection given to them and will quickly bond to the giver of said affection, much in the same way a puppy bonds with a human being. They will follow Oh, anyone or anything they've made a bond with anywhere, even into normally restricted areas. Although curious, the subjects can sense danger in their, in their general vicinity. And if the object of their bond begins to approach something they register as dangerous, like Euclid or Keter class objects, they will swarm around their, their, their bonded companion's feet or appropriate extremities, while babbling in a panicked tone as if to warn them. Because of the daily dangers faced by a Site-19 staff in dealing with Euclid and Cater class objects, it is recommended that staff avoid making attempts to bond with these subjects, as they can pose a distraction during delicate operations. <sighs> Excuse me. And may pose a danger to the subjects themselves. See Addendum 131.1. If these subjects are ignored by their bonded target long enough, they will eventually lose interest and return to their normal activities. It should be noted that the subjects require no real care or maintenance from, from the site staff. They do not eat, leave droppings, or even sleep. It would seem that the only sustenance they require is visual stimulation. 
although this requires further study to verify. Subjects Garfan and Jack were found in a cornfield outside of Redacted in the year 19 Redacted. They were probably transported to Site-19 via data expunged and were and downgraded to safe class and given free reign across the site once it became clear they were not broadcasting what they saw to any hostile of foreign powers. Addendum 131-1 During an incident that took place on a redacted day, the subjects followed one of the cleaning staff on routine cleaning of the container of SCP-173. After their normal attempts to warn the cleaner of the danger were ignored, the subjects rushed into the container in front of him and the other two personnel on duty. Once inside, the staff members observed the subjects sitting in front of SCP-173 and watching it intently, as if aware that it could only move if unobserved. The cleaners ignored the presence of the subjects and continued with the bi-weekly cleaning as per standard procedures. When the, cleaning when the cleaning crew left and the subjects, the subjects said that as well, rolling backwards and never taking their eyes off of SCP-173. Current applications of Garth and Jack as wardens for SCP-173 and perhaps other SCP which require constant observation such as SCP-689 are being considered. Anyway, that was SCP-131. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!